What is going on guys, it's Apollo 1 and today we have for you the hardest DNA bomb that we have ever achieved in Advanced Warfare and that is with the brand new Blunderbuss shotgun that was just added to the game on Tuesday and Karnas Swag manages to pull this gameplay off so make sure to go to his channel and check him out guys but real quick if you could drop an early like that would be greatly appreciated. If we could shoot for 1500 likes on today's gameplay that would be beautiful. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying we have to hit that. Just trying to remind you guys because this gameplay is absolutely insane and I'm sure most of you realize that because of how awful and how slow the reload is on this weapon. But yeah 1500 likes is definitely definitely a, a nice little goal that we should shoot for for this gameplay and also if you are new to Carnage Clan make sure to subscribe for more gameplays like this and lots of other advanced warfare content that I can guarantee you will enjoy and leading into Black Ops 3 you do not want to miss any of the content here at Carnage so make sure to subscribe if you are new. Now let's talk a little bit about this gameplay. This gameplay is absolutely insane I've already said that and it, it, it's rightfully insane because this weapon is atrocious. It is absolutely atrocious. It's an old kind of weapon weapon that they decided for some reason to add into it in an advanced Call of Duty where we have jetpacks so it doesn't really fit first of all. It is kind of cool and fun but the reload time man it's just it's just awful it's horrible. Now we do have a video on Carnage that gives you a little small tip that will reduce the reload time just by a smidge bit but uh you know if you want to check out that video I will link it down in the description below. It definitely helps out it's not the greatest thing of all time but it will help you out and save you in some times when reloading because you know when reload is this slow anything if you could just smack off a half a second it will make it better so if you want to check out that video I will link it down below um, but yeah Carnage Swag is playing on Detroit which is a blessing because you know you couldn't get a DNA bomb using this on instinct or any huge map that doesn't have tight corners you have to have a map that works well with the weapon you're using and when it comes to shotguns Detroit is really the map to do it on especially with the blunderbuss and Carnage Swag takes advantage of these tight interiors these you know in close quarter engagements and then when he's turning around when he's right in front of your when you're using this weapon when you turn the corner and you're right in front of somebody's face and you shoot them that's the ideal engagement when you're using this weapon because it doesn't have the greatest range I believe like even on the legendary variant it has like a four range uh, and the accuracy is horrible as well and the reload time obviously is horrible um, but yeah it, it sucks the damage is high obviously because if you're right in front of them you're gonna one shot kill them uh, even aiming down sights and and uh, hip firing but the range is awful and one thing that I've noticed when watching gameplay with this weapon is that people are getting hit markers at medium range which in my opinion because of the reload time being so slow it should have a better range and accuracy in my opinion I mean it's just I find it ridiculous that that people are getting hit markers and the amount of hit markers that people are getting at medium distances they need to increase the range not by a lot but just a little bit that would just just a tiny bit and reduce the the um, or make faster the reload by like half a second or maybe even a second because right now I think it's just a little bit too too slow and not a lot of people are just not using it and what's the point of adding a new weapon into the game if a lot of people are just not going to use it and completely ignore it and just delete the weapon or redeem it for XP because it just sucks absolutely horrible um, but yeah this is the world's first DNA bomb with the blunderbuss so congratulations to Carnage Swag for managing to get that and uh, yeah it's just insane he was grinding for it ever since the weapon came out he started grinding for it and managed to get it he rightfully deserves this gameplay because he did die off several very intense streaks. I, I think he even got two 15s in a single game using this weapon. I'm not 100% sure on that. I know he did get a 27 gun streak and died with it, which honestly, that's just cringeworthy. When I read that, I was like, nope, I'm done. I got up, left, got some ice cream because if that was me, I would have, my controller, my PS4 controller would be halfway through my, my TV screen because that would be just the most rage inducing thing ever. Imagine, imagine getting to a 27 gun, three kills away from a DNA bomb and dying. Imagine if that guy like fisted you or, or used the XMGs on you or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, guys, make sure to check out Carnage Swag's channel for this incredible achievement. His link will be right at the top of the description below. He deserves a ton of credit and he has great videos on his channel. I guarantee you guys will enjoy them. Of course, subscribe to Carnage Clan if you are new. Drop a like on today's video if you did enjoy. And uh, let, let's talk a little bit about the new weapons real quick before I do say goodbye. What weapons did you get? I want to know. Did you get the SVO? Did you get the legendary? SVO or did you get the STG 44 or did you get the blunderbuss were you unfortunate enough to get the blunderbuss I guess you could say uh, let me know down in the comment section below I'm really curious now of course I'm only talking to the people on Xbox one because uh, nobody else has it people on Xbox 360 and PlayStation
version 3 are actually never going to get this. Thank God I upgraded uh, because I would never get to use the STG 44, which is the weapon I really want to use um, because the, you know, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 have limits and they can't add them, unfortunately. But we will be getting it on the PlayStation 4 in, in a month or so. And I'm looking forward to using the STG 44. Let me know down in the comment section below if you are enjoying the new weapons. And if you've gotten a DNA bomb with one of these weapons, definitely let me know because if you did, I will reply to every single person that got a DNA bomb down in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point, say, leave down in the comment section below saying, Behemoth. Say Behemoth. If you made it to this point, I want to know. That's awesome. If you really watched this entire video to the end to see the DNA bomb, leave the comment Behemoth. B-E-H-E-M-O-T-H. -E -E Hopefully you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Ready for deployment. Magicor online. Our UAV is online.